What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Morning. Please do not try anything you see in this video at home. I am a trained professional in a safe and controlled environment, and I do not promote the sale of firearms in this video. What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. Today we got episode four of Glock Tober. So if you missed the past episodes, we just unboxed the Glock 23. Took it to the range for the first time. We've been pumping the videos out and it's time to get into another one. So today we are going to be going over my entire Glock collection. The real guns, the airsoft guns, and the gel blasters. And at the end, we're going to add up the price for all the Glocks and see how much I've spent on all these guns. All right, so we're going to start off from most expensive to least expensive. So I think my most expensive gun was my Glock 19X. I think I bought it for $650, but, you know, after tax, it went up to like $680 something. Um, it was my first purchase, my first 9, my first Glock, the Glock 19X. Uh, it came with three magazines, two 19 round magazines, and then the standard 17 round magazine. Sits flush with the Glock, but personally, I like the Plus 2 because it's not that big of a difference. And you know, who don't want two extra shots? So, I like the way that looks. Also, with my Glock 19X, I did purchase an Extendo, but this joint do not work. Like, every time I try to load it, it don't um, hold more than three rounds. So do not purchase any magazines. That's not Glock. I was just going to torture test this, but this thing is dookie. Don't buy this. I also got the drum for it. The drum runs fine. I've done videos dumping this, and I love it. Looks really clean, but I just wouldn't trust it too much. So I stick with the Glock magazines. 19 rounds is perfect for me. 19X look real clean. You don't need to overdo it, man. Next up, oh yeah, yeah, my fault, my fault. Where the calculator at? We gotta be adding all this up. I don't know, where my phone at? Hold on, oh, here you go. All right, so uh, that's how much we at right now, so. Next up, the Glock 23. I just unboxed this, the Glock 23 Jam 5. I've had it for about a week now. I've already took it to the range two times. I'm trying to take it to the range again today, but um, I just ordered 500 rounds of ammo, so I gotta wait for that to come in, and we're gonna be pumping out videos with this thing, so make sure y'all stay tuned. I love it. Um, I also ordered a whole grip for it. Y'all know I got a whole grip on my um, 19X, as well as my 43X. We're gonna get to that, but I don't know. Should I keep the sleeve on? I kind of like the way it feels without the sleeve, because I could really get up in there, but I felt the same way with the 19X. And I also threw the beaver tail on my 19X. I don't know if y'all saw that. But, yeah. We're going to see. I'm going to try it with sleeve and without sleeve. And we're going to see which one we like better. All right, so a little update. It's the next day. The whole sleeve grip did come in. I threw it on the 23. I'm not sure how I feel about it as of right now. It does make it a lot heavier. Like, the grip feels fat. Feel like I'm holding a revolver. Before I threw the sleeve on... It felt like I was holding a 9, and the only difference was the slide is a little bit heavier, but I really felt like I was holding the 19X. But now that I threw that sleeve on there, that thing feel like a real 40 now. Like, that handle got some real girth to it. I don't know the exact dimensions, but it felt like it added like 2 inches to the sides. So, I'm going to take it to the range and see how I feel about shooting with it on. But, we might just go ahead and take it back off, because that beaver tail was all that we needed. Uh, the finger grooves might be a little unnecessary. I don't know. Comment down below. How do y'all feel about this um, sleeve grip on the Glock 23? Is it good or is it unnecessary? I don't know. We're going to find out real soon. Uh, I love this Glock as of the moment. This is my favorite Glock. Um, I'm kind of like in that honeymoon phase because, you know, I just unboxed it. I just took it to the range for the first time. It is my first 40, so... I'm loving it a lot right now. I don't know if I'm ever going to get over it or if it's going to be my favorite forever. So between these two, I'm rocking with the 40 cal Glock 23. I got it for 631.79. So we're going to round that up to 632. 
Um, so go ahead and pull out the calculator plus $632. So just off the 19X and the 23 alone, that's already $1,300. 1313 so that's why y'all gotta like comment subscribe boy you run that bag up next up the glock 43x um i got this for 526 dollars and 49 cents it's another nine mil oh yeah i forgot to tell y'all what magazines came with the 23 the 23 just came with three magazines that's the same it just come with three 13 round um 40 cal magazines that's what the magazines that came with it. Y'all can see the unboxing videos. I've unboxed all these guns in past videos. So if y'all want to see more about one firearm, just go to that video. But the Glock 43X came with the same thing. It just came with um two extra mags, the um 10 round magazines. Uh 10 rounds out of this is not bad at all. I'm not gonna lie. I carry with the 10 round magazine. I also purchased the Shield Arms magazine right here. And it holds 15. It's the same size as the standard Glock mag that go with the 43X. But it holds five more shots. So, you know, for a while, I was thinking, I'm just going to be running this um, Shield Arms mag. Because I've heard a lot of great reviews about it. Holds five more rounds. Why would I not like that? Plus, you can add a plate at the bottom. Get it up to 20. Whatever you want. But, when I took it to the range the other day, it malfunctioned for the first time. And you don't got to tell me twice. As soon as I see that first malfunction, I'm off you. Like, I'm not going to lie. All right, look. It goes in. It's sitting right. But it's not clicking. It's not clicking. So this is what happened. Um, I loaded the magazine in. You can see it locks back, right? So I chambered around. And then when I shot, when I shot, um, the magazine just dropped. And I was like, hold on now. Hold on now. So I went in. Smack that thing. I get that thing some force. Loaded another round. Shot. The magazine dropped again. I said, you know what? I'm off that. Took all the rounds out the shield arms. Threw it back in the standard Glock magazine. Y'all can keep y'all five extra shots. I don't know what's wrong with the shield arms mag. I took the spring out. Um, redid the spring. I don't know why it's doing that. But if y'all know why, comment down below. Shit. Shield arms. Y'all gotta let me know what's going on, man. Because I thought the five extra shots was sweet. But she shield arms. Y'all almost got your boy smoked. If I would have had this in my Glock and I shoot that first round and then the magazine just drops out. If I would have made out alive, y'all would have had to see me after. I don't know what's wrong with it. I guess it's not built for the torture test. I don't really think I did too much to it. I might have dropped it one or two times. But if you really gonna break like that. You're not sturdy. It's not sturdy. So if the magazine don't say Glock on it, I don't want it. You feel what I'm saying? I also purchased a ETS mag for my 43X, the clear jump, just for um, just for looks, just for the range, just for the build. You know, it looks clean like this. Boom, boom, boom. Got the stick on it. The Raiders logo. Really complete the Raiders build. But I never run this outside as an EDC. It's just for range practice. And this jump ran smoother than my shield arms magazine even when i fill it to capacity most of the time it runs smoothly but if i try to go over by one or anything it's going to jam up because that spring i don't know it's not built like that this one's out the window right now y'all can keep that um we're just gonna keep running these standard 10 round magazines and when i'm at the range i'll throw the 19 round in and if i really want to have some fun i got the pro mag drum ski for the 43X. And this jump has run smoother than the shield arms as well. And this is a pro mag. So, you know, obviously, I'm not EDC in this, but um, it is fun at the range. I have done a dump with it. It ran smoothly, but pff, MO prices, boy, I ain't gonna lie. So, what did I say I paid? I paid $526.49. So, we're just gonna do plus 526. We at $1,839 for my real Glock collection. The 19X, the 23, and the 43X. That's not including the Sierra coat that I've had done to the slide. No upgrade for the magazines, nothing like that. This is just how much I've spent on the actual firearms. All right, so now it's time to get into the Airsoft collection. That's two bands on just the three Glocks. 
Let's see if the airsoft will catch up to that or if it will be more. So I think I have about 10 airsoft. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think I have exactly 10 airsoft glocks. I don't have 10 boxes because some of the manufacturers don't send out the boxes. Most of these are the ones that I got off Amazon. If it comes in a package like this, it's most likely from Amazon, Evike. So as y'all can tell, we got our fair share of those. I think the most expensive one that I've ever purchased was the 18C. Y'all know that's my favorite. I know that's a lot of y'all favorite. It's the 18C. I got it February 2021, I believe, or was it 2020? Have I had this for two years? I don't even know. I think it's just been a year. If it's been two years, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, but I got this in February, either last year or the year before that. And I paid about $220 for it. That's crazy. $220. So we can go ahead and add that to the total. So now we're sitting at $2,059. Um, it comes with this magazine. It's standard. This is all that it comes with in the box. It's on Amazon right now. Link in the description. It do got the full auto. That's why it's such a hot topic. I do love it. I normally keep this um, Olight on it as well. I like it. Um, next up, I have the 19X Airsoft version. So it did inspire me to get the real firearm. Um, I think I paid about 180 for this thing, 180. Um, it's a full blowback. All of my Airsoft that y'all are gonna see right now are full blowback. They're not half and they're not CO2. They're all green gas. Um, all of them I got off Amazon. And I think it just came with one magazine. None of the Airsoft come with spare mags. So it just come with the standard, but yeah, it's very clean. It's great for firearm practice if you want to practice on your quick draw or dry firing or just firearm handling. This 19X is a great replica, cost 180. Let's go ahead and add that to the total. What y'all think? Y'all think we're going to get over? Um, y'all probably could already tell by the title, but I think the total collection going to come out somewhere around 4,500, somewhere around there. Another two bands? Nah. Maybe like 3500 something like that. I don't know. We still got a lot of Glocks left. I don't even be knowing how much I spent on this. So Next up, I couldn't even tell you no more. Uh, the double barrel Glock 17. So I do have three Glock 17s. Well, y'all will see all three of them. But I think this is the best one that I got. I ain't gonna lie. It's a double barrel Glock 17. I think I paid around 130 for this thing, but it imported from another country. So the shipping was like $100. So if you take that into account, this thing really costs 200. So 200 for the double barrel Glock 17. The magazine that it comes with does take two sides of ammo. So you are shooting two BBs at once, man. This thing's fire. It's not practical, but like, I don't know what situation you use this. It's really just a collector's item. I don't know if it's legal on the airsoft field, but who don't want a double barrel gun? So I had to copy it. Let's go ahead and add that to the total. $2,439. Next up, we got my Glock 26. I got the golden Glock 26. I got it from the same people that um sent the uh, double barrel 17. So... It was about $120, $130, but the shipping was $100 on top of that, so it's another $200 gun. It comes with a standard magazine that fit flush with it, but I don't know where that went. So we have this little, I think this was a 23 magazine in it, and that's why it's poking out a little bit. But the standard mags is flush. It does have an engravement on it, as well as the back serrations and a golden slot switchy as well come on now this thing's fire another green gas fully working blowback it was a pretty good purchase i need to do some more videos with it that was another 200 dollars so we're gonna add that to the all right so now we at 2600 after the gold glock 26 speaking of gold this is my second glock 17 the golden slide this is cerakoted gold not gold plated we will be getting the gold-plated Glock soon, trust, but gold slot, 
um, regular standard 17, came with the standard magazine, nothing too crazy, I think I paid like, uh, I don't remember how much I paid for this, and I also don't even remember where I got it from, so, I know it wasn't Amazon, I'm just gonna take a safe guess and say like 130, 130, for shipping, I don't remember, we just gonna say 150, cause it could be much more, it could be much less, 150 is like, average we're gonna go ahead and throw that on there we sitting at 2700 right now 2700 um we still got like six more guns left so next up we got the glock 23 right here man this is the glock 23 but y'all see it also has a fun switch as well it came with a standard magazine right now i'm mismatching all the magazines in my airsoft so if you see any extensions it's probably not because it was there on purpose. That's just how it came out to be. It got the slide cuts. This is a full blowback. All of the attachment rails work so I can throw O lights. Look how clean that look. That 23 build is fire. This make me want to put an attachment on my actual 23, but for right now, I just like that regular 23 with nothing on it. We're going to see though. We're going to see. I think I paid like another 150 for this. I really don't be remembering. I just remember the ones that the most expensive and the rest of them, it was like somewhere between $150 and $200. So we're gonna go ahead and say $150 for this one as well. I don't even remember. So if y'all know the actual price, comment down below. We almost had three bands now, $29.39, $2,939. And we still got some more guns to go. Next up, we got the Glock 45. Um, I got the Glock 45 about a year ago. Y'all let me know. Go back to the video, find a date, and let me know when I unboxed it. Because I got a terrible memory. But I remember I got this um, after I went to New York and collabed with Kevin. He had it first, and he inspired me to get it. Because he shot me with it, and I was like, damn, that joint hurt it. So when I came back to Virginia, I already had ordered it online, and it was waiting for me. So... The Glock 45, standard mag, front serrations, back serrations, working slide, um, green gas powered. I love it. It's beautiful. It makes me want to get the 45 9 mil, so we might got to cop that too. I don't know. My Glock collection is catching up to my Airsoft Glock collection. It's one big Glock collection, but you'll know it's separated from Airsoft and real. But my real collection is stepping up. Y'all see it? We just got the 23. What's next? But that 45, I don't remember. I think this was like, I want to say 180. I think this was a little bit more expensive because I remember I got it off Amazon. We're just going to say 180 because I've been lowballing a lot of them. So we're going to get that extra $30 I needed. So we just broke three bands. We had $3,119 and we still got three guns left or four guns left. All right, so next up, we got the Glock. 42 i just unboxed this i think this was the first episode of glocktober it's so small look how small this thing is the smallest glock ever made but this thing is fire though i love this little gun some people said when i wrapped it it sounded like a minecraft sound i don't know that sounds like minecraft i don't know y'all be the judge of that but um I think I paid, I forgot how much I paid. I can check Amazon right now though, my fault. Shit. How much I paid for this? How much, how much you paid? $200,000. I paid $181.86 for this Glock 42. So let's go ahead and add that to the total. 181.86, that rounds up to 182. And I just erased the whole number because I forgot to hit the plus sign. I think we was at 31119, right? 311. I think we was at 31119. 3119. It looked like that, right? I'm pretty sure that was right. I'm pretty sure that was right. But we just gonna go with it. Plus 182. So now we at $3,301. We still got three guns left. So here is the actual 
Glock 17. Y'all saw the gold one. Y'all saw the double barrel one. But this is the actual Glock 17 standard magazine, attachment rail, um, full blowback, back serrations. I love it. Um, I probably need to get a Glock 17 9 mil soon. I think that's what I'm going to get golden. I don't know. That 17 Gen 5 golden, the gold slide. Hold on. I would have the gold airsoft with the gold plated 9. That would be kind of fire. So, y'all stay tuned for that. But I think I paid like 180 for this as well. I don't be knowing for real, but I'm just going to throw it on there. 3400 so we getting real close to four bands right now we getting real close to four bands next up we got my first glock airsoft that i ever owned i got this joint like four years ago i think when i was still in high school um my friends we all had one of these just for fun do not take these out in public and shoot your friends you feel me we were safe with it but we would just be shooting each other all the time with these because once we saw it on Amazon, I remember one time my friend spin the block, he let that window drop, he hit me with this like three or four times. When I went back home that day, I ordered me one and I spun back. I showed y'all the video before, I don't know if I got the video. I'm telling you bro, we camped out, we did a stakeout outside his crib, waited for him to come out and we just wet him up like all angles bro, he got clapped and we started our own BB gun war, that's before I even did YouTube so. Yeah, this is what started it all. The Glock 19. This is my only CO2 um, airsoft gun. This is actually a BB gun, I guess, because it's actually BB um, mean to shoot steel, right? And airsoft mean plastic. I think that's how it worked, but this is um, CO2. It does shoot plastic, though. This is not 4.5 millimeter. This is a 6 millimeter plastic BB gun. But it is powered by CO2 instead of green gas. The only CO2 gun that I own. Does not have a working slide, so you can't rack it. It is a stick mag as well, y'all see that? So it's not an actual magazine. I think I got this joint for like $90. Or I might have got it for cheaper because I got it before they were like popular. I got it four years ago. I paid like $80 for it. And um, yeah, I got the finger grooves. I really like it a lot. I need to get that real Glock 19 Gen 5, but uh, yeah. My first ever airsoft gun. We're gonna go ahead and add that to the total. So now we just broke 3,500. We had $3,561. And we got one more. Oh, we got two more Glocks left. No, we got one more. I already showed y'all the 18C. I just set that back down. The only other Glock that I have is the, um, the Gel Blaster Glock, I think. I think this is the only other Glock I got. I really don't be remembering because I got so many guns under my bed and in my closet. But, um, Gel Blaster Glock. I think this is a Glock 17. Um, I got it off Amazon. I probably paid like $100 for it. I don't even remember. Let me check the price because I don't want to mess it up too bad for y'all. Okay, so it's not even on Amazon no more. It says it sold out, but like, let me see the order details. Oh, never mind, never mind. I'm tripping, bro. So I got this off Amazon. I paid $53 for it. Um, It has the little magazine that go in at the top. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You screw it on, and it shoots out. So this magazine right here is actually just a battery. You charge it. Um, Then you put the, the balls in at the top, and it is full blowback. I guess this is half blowback, actually, yeah. I definitely half blowback. It just shoots um little gel beads out. Cost it fifty three dollars. So let's go ahead and add that to the total, and that just brings us over three thousand six hundred and fourteen dollars. So y'all know three thousand six hundred rounds up to four hundred. All the shipping, all the attachments. So that's another four hundred, and then four thousand. Um. Once you add up all the Cerakote and all the magazines, that's another $896. So that brings us to a total of $5,000. So in total, my Glock collection, the real Glocks, the Airsoft Glocks, the Gel Blaster Glocks, the attachments, the Cerakotes, the sights, the ammo. We probably spent over five bands, but... It's somewhere around that area, I ain't gonna lie. It's probably like closer to 5,500, something like that. 
but we're not done yet so this is still only the beginning um i don't know how many more airsoft blocks i'm going to purchase because i feel like i've already bought all of the ones off amazon i've already got a couple off evike and off a website from china and it took a month to ship here so i feel like i've got all the airsoft glocks that i need now it's time to keep buying these real glocks but if y'all want to see some more airsoft glocks let me know down below in the comments might gotta cop them um thank you guys for watching make sure y'all let me know which glock is your favorite for my collection i will be doing more giveaways so make sure you guys subscribe stay tuned follow my instagram because last time i said too much about a giveaway on here the video got taken down so we're going to handle all giveaways on instagram or on another social media because youtube is very strict with how we do things so we're just going to follow youtube community guidelines as well as we can we don't want to get striked we don't want the channel to get taken down but yeah man thank you guys for watching this was episode four of glocktober make sure y'all stay tuned we got some more heat coming for the rest of the month i love y'all i'm gonna catch y'all in my next video man I got three more. I cannot possibly hold three more Glocks. Glock sandwich. And I do not promote the sale of firearms in this video.